Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have some quick and easy New Year's Eve nail ideas. And you guys, I didn't just do one finger. I did full manis this time. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get right into it. So for the first one, you guys know I had to do a glitter gradient. Like I feel like that's just New Year's Eve, you know? So I started off with a nude base and then I'm gonna be using a silver glitter. And I am gonna have all the names of the polishes I'm using listed down below. But basically I just started by applying glitter to the tip of the nail and then once the brush was pretty much empty, I just kind of dragged it down toward probably like the middle of my nail. And then once that dried, I repeated that one more time. And that's literally it. This is probably the quickest go-to nail look for New Year's, especially if you waited until the last minute. Um, so yeah, finish off with a top coat and you are done. And the thing I love the most about glitter gradients is the fact that you can change the colors to anything you want so that they match your outfit or whatever you're wearing that night. And honestly, with all of these, if you don't like the colors that I'm using, you can always switch it out. So yeah, moving on to the next design, I started off with a black base and then I applied a matte top coat. And I'm gonna be using gems for this one and I'm just applying top coat to make them stick to my nail. But if you wanna wear these for longer than a day or two, I would use nail glue because these things will fall off pretty quickly. But again, if you're just wearing them from New Year's then you'll be fine with top coat. So basically all I'm doing is using a toothpick and making a little dot and then placing the gems on my nail. And I am doing another gradient with this. So I applied more gems on the top and then less as I went down the nails. And guys, I seriously love how this turned out. I really love the black base with the gems. I feel like it just makes them pop so much more. And it's just so cute. Also, I did get these gems from Daily Charm. So you guys don't really have time to order these if you don't have any. But if you go to your local craft store, they will have gems. You're welcome. Okay, so for the next nail, I did another gradient. And guys, I know... I did a lot of gradients, but they all look different, I promise. So for this one, I started off with a nude base and I applied black and nude to a makeup sponge. And I'm just sponging that on my nail. And at first I was like, oh gosh, this looks kind of bad. But once I did that second coat, I absolutely loved how it looked. And then I just removed my barrier and I will also have these linked below. And after that, I was like, you know what? Why not add another gradient? So I'm gonna be adding another glitter gradient and basically I'm gonna take the glitter nail polish and put it on a makeup sponge first and the reason I'm doing this is just to get rid of most of the clear polish in it so I can just take a brush and just place the glitter where I want it and all you want to do for this is start by placing glitter along your cuticle area and then slowly bring it up to the edge of your nail and then add a top coat again super easy and this looks like I put in more work than I actually did so that is the next look and I do think this is my favorite out of all of them I don't know why I just really love the glossy and the matte and the gems like it's just so pretty so yeah moving on to the next look and right now you may be like Gabby what's on your ring finger well it's actually a sheer black polish that I made and all I did was add a few drops of black nail polish to a clear nail polish shook it up and then I got a sheer black look and I've been doing this for a long time. If you haven't tried it, you should. But anyways, after that I added black dots using a bobby pin and then I applied glitter nail polish to a sponge again and I'm using a toothpick just to add little glitter dot mark things and that is it for that design. Again, really easy, simple, like I feel like it's not too in your face. Um, and then after that, I took my finger and kind of just pressed down on my nail just to make sure all the glitter was laying down. And then again, added a top coat. And I did a glossy top coat, but you guys will see in a second that I also did a matte top coat because I couldn't decide which one I liked better. But actually, I still can't decide. I think I like the glossy better, maybe the matte. You guys can let me know which one you like. So for the next nail, I again started off with a matte black base. And I don't know, I just feel like matte black and New Year's Eve, like you just have to, just like with glitter, glitter and matte black, that's like all you need. Um, but I'm pretty much just drawing a swoop line thing. I don't know what this is. I just wanted to add glitter to the nail, honestly. But I think it turned out really good and it was easy. So that's pretty much it for that one. You can add a top coat to just the glitter part, but I didn't even do that just because I felt like it was already laying pretty flat. And yeah, that is it for this look. Also, the brush I'm using is just a random one that I got from Michael's Craft Store. I feel like you guys ask me a lot, but honestly, it's normally a brush that I either cut down and made out of something random, or it's a brush from Michael's Craft Store because they're a lot more affordable than getting a nail brush from an actual nail store. 
The next design is another gradient, except it's using glitter dots. So pretty much I did the same thing where I applied glitter to a makeup sponge and then I just used a toothpick to pick up little clumps of glitter. And you guys have probably seen this before because I do this a lot. I just love the look of the matte with the little glitter specks. It's so pretty and oh, I just love it so much. So I ended up doing it on a nude base and a black base. And again, I would take your finger and just lightly push down on these dots so that they're laying flat. That way it doesn't like snag on your hair or clothes or anything like that. So moving on to the next one, this one, okay, the base I started with, I could honestly just wear plain and be happy with because it's a black sparkly nail polish that is so pretty, but since it's New Year's, I'm adding more glitter. So I just applied some glitter to the small end of a sponge and I'm just gonna start dabbing it on the corner of my nail and I'm kind of doing a corner gradient. You don't wanna cover up too much of that black, but you do wanna slowly kind of bring it out. And I did end up taking a brush and kind of speckling on some glitter just to make it fade out a little more. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. And this is definitely for those people who wanna go all out on New Year's Eve because Oh my gosh, the way this looks under flash, you guys are gonna see in a second. It looks so gorgeous, like it sparkles so much. Do you guys, oh, do you see this? Oh, it's crazy. And finally, for the last design, I started off with a dry black base and I'm gonna be using foil glue and some foil for this one. So I'm just gonna take the foil glue and just apply it to the corner in the bottom corner of my nail. This doesn't have to be applied perfectly, but you do wanna make sure it turns clear before you put the foil on top. So once it looks like this, then you're ready to go. So you're just gonna take the foil and gently press it down on your nail and then rip it off and it leaves some foil behind. And this is probably the easiest nail look ever and it looks really good. So I did end up doing a glossy top coat and a matte top coat for this. And at first, like the glossy one, that's cute. Like, oh, okay, cute. But look at this matte. I seriously love this. So yeah, those are all of the looks. I hope you guys felt inspired and I hope you guys have a great new year. I am seriously so excited. Um, let me know which one was your favorite and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.